Michael Vincent. Funny, even in this day and age, they still think magicians use their sleeves. So all you do is cast a spell. You know, it's almost like mass hypnosis. It's not what you see, but rather what you think you see, and that is the wonder and mystery. Oh. What is going on everyone? I hope you guys are doing well. It's your boy here, Hanson, and welcome to another episode of Cart Magic 101. So in this episode, I'm gonna be teaching you the Erdnays color change. Now the Erdnays color change is invented by S.W. Erdnays himself. This is a wonderful color change. It's probably the most popular color change there is out there. So it's just a very beautiful sleight of hand to learn. Uh, and it's definitely worth the time to practice. Okay, let's get right into it. All right guys, so here we go. This is how we do it. So as you can see, what we're doing here is essentially we're trying to switch the bottom card to the top. That's how we do the change, okay? Now, just to show the entire process again. Now first, what you're gonna do here is your right hand is gonna come over to, your, to the deck and you wanna use this part of your palm to first push over the first card just like that, only the first card. Okay, and what you're gonna do next is you're gonna use the flashy part of your palm to kind of like pull the bottom card out like that, okay? You have to be able to pull it out so, such that it balances on your palm. Kind of like this, okay? Push the top card in. Now square the top card with the deck kind of like so. That's how you complete the change. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a few tips when you guys practice this move. Um, and they're very useful. At least they're very useful for me when it comes to mastering this, uh, this technique. Now, the first part is when you actually do the first move, when you actually push over the top card, uh, it's not easy at the beginning to just push over just one card. You might actually end up like doing something like, like that because it's not easy to uh, just contact one card and have it, you know, push up. So what you can do, here's a little trick you can do. As you come over, you can kind of like use your left index finger and put it here to kind of like allow only one card to come over, you see? So when I actually do the move, that's why you have to hold it in proper mechanics grip first because this hand actually helps, and these finger helps square up the deck. Okay, so my hand is gonna come over, I'm gonna use this part to contact my card, 
And now as I push over, my index finger is actually helping to allow only one card to come up. Okay, so once you have this down, you're in good shape. Okay, now next, you're gonna use a flashy part of your palm to kind of like pull this out. Okay, now here, this is also a tricky part. If you just pull it all the way out, it's gonna fall, right? So the trick is, as you pull this out, you kind of want to like pull it here and let the right corner kind of be your pivot. Now, if you're pivoting here, your card will not fall. Now, next, square up the card, push it over, and then complete the change. So when you actually do the change, you have to be able to square up the deck after like doing all this stuff, right? So when I squ square up the top card like this, now I still need to square this one, the card in my palm. And as I push it up, I'm gonna use my left hand, all these fingers to square them, square it up completely. Okay, so that when I actually do the change, it looks um, kind of like clean, flawless. It just looks like the top card magically changes to a different card. So anyway, that's it guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is just a really nice technique to know um, in your arsenal. It has tons of applications when you do your routines. Um, and it's definitely worth spending time and kind of like perfecting this move. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy it. Tell me what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.